Generative AI for Everyone course by Deep Learning AI. It's a relatively new course on Coursera, but it's already one of the top courses on Generative AI on the platform. Currently, there are almost 200,000 students enrolled, and the general rating for this course is impressive – 4.8 out of 5. But is it really worth trying? Or should you choose a different course? My name is Daniel, and today I am going to talk about the Generative AI for Everyone course by Deep Learning AI. And the things I am going to talk about in this review are Course Overview – Structure and Content, Pricing and Certification, Career Opportunities Traditionally, we will take a look at some student reviews And I will let you know what I personally think about this course. Also, guys, make sure to check out all the useful links in the description after watching this video. You may find some discounts there. Ok, time to start! Course Overview Well, folks, first of all, Generative AI for Everyone is a beginner-level course. Even if you are totally new to this field and don't have any technical backgrounds, this course might be great for you. In this course, you will learn about the many uses and applications of Generative AI. You will dive into what large language models or LLMs can do. And you will also explore their limitations. Apart from that, the course will tell you about the different types of software applications you can build using LLMs. You will learn how they are impacting businesses and society. Now the course is self-paced, which means you can take it whenever you want, at your own speed. But considering it takes just 3 to 5 hours to complete, I think most people will complete it in a day or two. The Course Instructor The course is led by Andrew Ng, a well-known name in the field of AI. Andrew Ng is the founder of Deep Learning AI and co-founder of Coursera. He is a prominent figure with extensive experience and knowledge in artificial intelligence. And that makes this course a great introduction for beginners interested in the topic. By the way, folks, I recently reviewed another AI course by Andrew Ng. AI for everyone. Feel free to check that video out if you are interested. Alright, and now let's see what kind of content this course offers. Content Guys, before we move on, I try to make educational content in an entertaining way, make it fun instead of boring. And in the return, I just ask to like this video and subscribe to my channel. If you enjoy the content I make, that's all. So guys, like I said, this is a pretty small course. It only includes 3 modules. Let me talk about them in more detail. Introduction to Generative AI In this week, you will get a solid understanding of what Generative AI is all about. You will learn how large language models work using supervised learning algorithms. The course instructor will break down Generative AI applications into three main categories – writing. This includes brainstorming ideas, translation, different writing strategies, and more. Reading – you will learn about proofreading, summarizing analysis, monitoring, and other reading-related tasks. Chatting – you will explore chatbots and how they are powered by Generative AI. You will also use a fresh college graduate analogy with LLMs to show what they can and cannot do. Plus, you will dive into some limitations of LLMs. For example, knowledge cutoff, hallucinations, context window limitations, bias and toxicity, generative AI projects. In this week, you will explore different methods to develop applications powered by large language models, prompt-based development, use specific prompts to guide LLMs in generating desired outputs, RAG or retrieved augmented generation, framework for LLM-powered apps using external data sources, fine-tuning the model, improve LLM performance for tasks like question answering, summarization and so on with our own data, LLM as a reasoning engine, LLMs can reason complex tasks and take actions, pre-training – train your own model from scratch for specific domains, you will cover managing costs and risks associated with large language models. LLMs can sometimes generate toxic language or false information known as hallucination. To address this, you will explore RLHF – reinforcement learning from human feedback. This technique helps align the model with human values by incorporating feedback from humans, generative AI in business and society. And in this final part of Generative AI for Everyone you will cover how people can use LLMs in daily life, for example, as a writing assistant for emails or social media posts, business benefits, automating tasks within jobs and augmenting specific tasks, 
like suggesting responses for customer service, starting small with a team of software engineers, machine learning engineers and product managers to build LLM applications, addressing concerns about how generative AI can impact society, human values and job loss. So guys, as you can see, there is a lot to unpack here, and I think a lot of people will find it interesting. Pricing and certification Alright, let's answer the big question. How much does this course cost? Well, folks, it's not free. And honestly, offering it for free would be kind of strange. To sign up, you will need a Coursera subscription. The good news is that it's part of Coursera Plus. So, when you pay for this certification, you also get access to many other courses for free. And guys, I totally understand, months of subscription sounds like a lot, but based on some feedback I have seen some people finish it much faster. Plus, it's definitely more affordable compared to the cost of a college degree. Now let's talk about certification. When you successfully complete the course, you will get a certificate of completion from Coursera. It can be a nice addition to your LinkedIn profile or resume. But let me be straight with you folks. In my opinion, the knowledge you gain here is more valuable than the certificate itself. It's just a small course, and it's likely that your completion certificate won't impress anyone. For that, folks, you will have to learn and work much more. Career opportunities Guys, my subscribers often ask me, Daniel, will this course help me land a job? People, let's be real here. In this case, I don't think that any one of you is really wondering if this course can help you land a job. And of course, it cannot do that. It's a small course with three modules designed to introduce you to generative AI. No more than that. Student reviews Alright, now let's take a look at student reviews for this course. And like I said at the beginning of this video, it has an impressively high rating 4.8 out of 5 stars. I have only seen a few reviews that give it less than 4 stars. The majority of students enjoy the teaching style and say that all concepts are well explained. They say that this course is a great introduction to generative AI. Here is for example one of the 5 star reviews. This course has been a fantastic learning journey. The course does an excellent job at not only instructing, but also delving into the nuances of generative AI. It sheds light on the strengths and potential pitfalls, both for individuals and the broader society. The balanced perspective on the benefits and risks associated with AI technology was particularly enlightening. Overall, the course is well structured and insightful. So, folks, keep that in mind. Is the Generative AI for Everyone course worth it? So, as always, let's ask the important question. Should you invest your time and effort into this course? And honestly, if you don't mind paying for the Coursera subscription, why not? Generative AI for Everyone is a great course. It really makes Generative AI simple with practical insights. Besides, it's perfect for beginners or those with basic AI knowledge. With this course, you can easily gain valuable skills applicable in various professional settings. Alright, my fellow developers, and that's all about my review of the Generative AI for Everyone course on Coursera. Feel free to check out the useful link in the description below, you might find some discounts there. As usual, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, thanks for watching, until next time.